lot of basketball to be played. Do you guys think you're kind of crafting a, an NCAA resume, uh, you know, a good resume for, for the voters at, at some point for both of you guys? Um, I think, you know, that's that's not even really a focus for us. I think we're just taking it a game at a time. Uh, I think last year we kind of looked ahead and uh, when we went 14-0 and and kind of started looking towards the tournament. But uh, I think this year we're just trying to take it a game at a time and uh, keep focused on the present. Were there adjustments Keith made at half? Because, I mean, you guys just came out and, and were a lot more effective offensively. I feel like it's the, the plays that Coach set us up with. Coach set us, showed us different ways that we could score the ball. So we just try to be aggressive, and Coach just told us to keep your head up and it was, <clears> the shots will fall. How big was that stretch right before the half? I mean, Tristan made a couple of threes. You had, you had a three-point play. It, it got you guys into the lead. It was big. Uh, it's definitely, you know, anytime you can get the momentum going in the halftime is, uh, is a great feeling. Um, but, uh, you know, coach talked to us in the locker room and uh, we just wanted to come out and be aggressive and kind of get into the paint and draw some more fouls. Keith, what's it mean to, to beat a team that's, you know, they've been in the tournament the last couple of years and almost beat Butler. What, put that in significance, in importance. It was, a, it was a real good game for us. We knew they were going to be real physical. Coach told us that coming in. So we wanted to outplay them. We know they're a, a tournament team the last couple of years. So that was a big key for us. That's where we're trying to make it. So we just had to be, uh, get ticket a game at a time. Talking about the physicality, there was a 44 fouls called between both teams. Uh, how did that affect the game for you guys with the start, stop? And you guys just talk about that. Um, well, I know for me, you know, my shot really wasn't falling tonight. So I just wanted to be more aggressive and kind of get to the free throw line and, uh, the way that they were calling the game, you know, they were, they were definitely letting us play. So uh, there are definitely adjustments that need that needed to be made, and uh, I think we did that. And uh, I think we we got to the line a lot more than them. So uh, I think we definitely won it on the free throw line. What was it about the three point line? I mean, it seemed like you you got a lot of shots from the outside in the second half. Did, was that some adjustment you picked up on? Uh, just, just the way they were playing me. Coach just told me to don't try to force nothing. Just uh, take what they give you. So that's what I just tried to do there. Let, uh, playing off on Marcus and Jeff driving the ball. So then I was just open for the shot. So I took it. It seemed like Dwight picked up a little bit of momentum inside too for you guys. Can you just talk about how much it helps to have him inside there and have him strong, have a strong game for you to pull some attention away from you inside? Uh, it was a great game for Dwight. We know we knew Dwight. Dwight talked about it before the game. He's going to play hard and play aggressive. So that was a good thing that he came out and did that for us because we needed a spark. Because when Josh got in foul trouble, Dwight came and stepped up. Why don't you think people are taking notice of you guys? I mean, now I mean, you beat UConn, you beat College of Charleston, another tournament team. But are people starting to take notice? Um, to be honest, I don't think so. Uh, I think you know after what we went through last year, you know everybody's kind of you know helter skelter about us, but. Um, you know, we're, that's not any of our focus. We're just trying to go out and win as many games as we can and play the best that we can and get better each day. Keith, you've always gotten a lot of blocks, but can you just talk a little bit about what you were seeing this game and, and how aggressive you went after the ball inside? Oh, it's just I, I just try to <laughs> just try to block it if it's coming down. Uh, he told us if it's on, if it's your man going up, we just wall, try to wall, and then weak side, that's where we try to get our blocks at. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Merry Christmas, everybody. Yeah. You too.